This hack tip is brought to you by Jack Threads. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm Shannon Morse, and today I'm getting into some more Terminal 101. As I've been learning the Linux terminal, I've been sharing what I found throughout the hack tips. And I don't know why, but I find it pretty exciting. Yeah, I guess I'm, I don't know, I'm a nerd. Yeah, there's no way getting around that one. Yeah. This week, let's check out a few more interesting topics. Wildcards, hard links, and symbolic links. Now, wildcards are a group of these really special characters that you can use to specify a big group of file names instead of having to type out each and every single one. Using wildcards is also called globbing. Seriously, it's called globbing. I don't know why. Now let's check out a few of these different wildcards. First off, there is the asterisk, which looks like this. The asterisk will match any characters with your query. A question mark, ta-da, will match any single character. Now any kind of characters that you stick inside of a couple of brackets, such as these, so I can put ABC, like that, will choose a set character, and char any set of characters, like ABC, will match up with any character that is not in it if it has an exclamation mark at the beginning, like that. Sticking some characters inside a couple of brackets with a couple of colons, like so, will match with any character that is a member of a specified class. Now, a class can be a number, a letter, a lowercase letter, or an uppercase letter, just to name a few of the different classes. Now, some examples. I want to copy this pic file, so I could type in cpp asterisk for any file that starts with a p, and then I'm going to copy it into folder one, which is right here. Press enter. And if I go into folder one, I'll see there's pick one loading, and there we go. Aha, oh, and it works. If I want to move a file, for example, I want to move my upgrade.bin file over here. Uh, I can move it with MV space and then U, because upgrade.bin starts with a U, dot bin. And then I'm going to move it into folder one. And if I press enter, it disappears. Oops, let's put that down. And if I go in folder one, there it is, upgrade.bin. Ha, huh, it works, awesome. I can also move files with the question mark wildcard. Now to do that, for example, if I wanted to move my pick file, I would type in MV space P and then two question marks to move that pick file. The two question marks mean that any file that starts with P and has two characters after it will be moved. I could move my photo and my text file by typing in MV like this, oops, MV like this, and then using the brackets and typing in, let's see, I'll do the upgrade.bin and the pick bracket asterisk for any anything that starts with those two letters, which means any file that starts with the U or the P will be moved or will be copied or whatever you want it to do. The list goes on and on. The cool thing about wildcards is they also work in the GUI, and you've probably noticed that they work in a lot of other programs. Now, after the break, I'll be touching on creating links, whatever those are. But first, here is a word from our sponsor. If you love alternative apparel brands like Kid Robot, Hurley, and Stussy, but you hate wasting cash, get this. You could score these premium brands at up to 80% off every day at Jack Threads, the invite-only shopping club for guys. They're serving up street, skate, and surfwear brands at brain-melting prices. Best of all, Hack 5's hooking you up. That's right, skip the wait list and join free at jackthreads.com slash H-A-K-5 to start saving instantly without having to leave the house. And we're back. Now, on to those links that I was talking about. The LN com command lets you create hard and symbolic links. Now, you can use it by either typing LN file link, so LN and then the file, and whatever I want the link to be called. Or you can type in LN 
tack s and whatever you want the link to be called again. Short cup cut because apparently I can't type right. Basically, a hard link is the original way of creating links. Every file has one, and that is what gives the file its name. A hard link creates an additional directory entry for a file, but it can't work outside of its own file system, and it can't reference a directory. They exist, and you may run across them from time to time and wonder what the heck is this, so just know that they are there. Symbolic links are a more modern and more favorable version of the link idea. One way of thinking of a symbolic link is to think of it as a window shortcut, basically. If you remove a symbolic link, only the link is removed, not the original file. Now I found this short article that explains it really well, and I'll give the link in the show notes, and it gives some really good examples if you're still a little confused about symbolic and hard links. All right, that about wraps it up for this week's episode of Hack Tip. But I want to know, what did you guys learn about the terminal? If you guys are learning along with me, tell me what websites you guys are using because I could totally use them. Tell me about it in the comments below, or you can email me tips at hack5.org. And be sure to check out our sister show, Hack 5, for more great stuff just like this. I'll be there reminding you to trust your techno lust. <laughs>